titration and pH. We have 21 milliliters of a 0.35 moles per liter solution of HA. HA is a weak acid with a dissociation constant, Ka, of 6 times 10 to the negative 4. We titrate this solution with a 0.2 molar solution of NaOH. A. Calculate the original pH of the solution of HA. B. Calculate the pH after we add 14 milliliters of the solution of NaOH. C. Calculate the pH at the equivalence point. Part A. This acid will dissociate a little bit into its conjugate base. Let's write the equation for this dissociation. We will use an ice table for each of the three parts of this question. This table presents the initial concentration of each reactant and product, their changes, and their concentrations at equilibrium. By completing an ice table, we can determine the concentration of the H plus ions and then, afterwards, the pH. We insert the concentration of HA that was given to us in the question. Initially, the solution does not contain any dissociated ions. The acid HA will dissociate a certain quantity of moles, which we will denote with the variable x. Since all the coefficients in the equation are 1s, both products will gain the same amount of moles that the HA will lose. So, at equilibrium, the reactant will have 0.35 minus x, and the products will have a concentration of x. To determine the value of x, we will use the dissociation constant given in the question. We can insert our values into the equation. To calculate the value of x, we will need to use the quadratic equation. To save some time, we can use the 5% rule, where you can ignore the subtraction of x from the concentration of the acid if x is less than 5% of the original concentration. We will do the calculations making the approximation that the concentration did not change in the dissociation. By doing some algebra, we find that the value of x is 0.01449 moles per liter. To see if we can use the 5% rule, we divide by the initial concentration, 0.35 moles per liter, and we multiply by 100. The value of x is 4.1% of the initial concentration of the acid. This is less than 5%, and therefore we can say that the change in the acid's concentration is insignificant. Our approximation is correct, so the concentration of H plus ions is 0.01449 moles per liter. Now we need to find the pH. All the data in the question was given with two significant digits, so we round our answer to two significant digits. Note that for pH values and other logarithmic values, the digits before the decimal do not count as significant digits. Part B. Here's the equation of the neutralization. In a titration, all of the base that is added will react with the acid to create water. The two leftover molecules, the Na plus and the A minus, will join together to form the other product. To calculate the pH after adding 14 milliliters of the base, we need an ice table. Pay attention, we cannot directly insert the concentrations of HA and NaOH because when we combine them, they are going to change. The quantity of moles of each reactant will stay the same, but the volumes of the solutions will add together and dilute the concentrations. To calculate the new concentrations, we need to determine the number of moles, and then we divide by the new volume of the solution. We change the volume into liters so that it cancels out when we multiply it with the molarity. We obtain the number of moles of acid. We add the volume of the two solutions together. The new volume of HA will be 35 milliliters. We divide the moles by the volume to determine the new concentration. We redo the same calculations for the dilution of the NaOH. We multiply by the original concentration, then divide by the new volume. Note that we could have simply inserted the values in moles into the ice table, because they are in the same ratios as the concentrations. Initially, we had 0.2 moles per liter of HA and 0.08 moles per liter of NaOH. The water is just the solvent, so it does not affect the concentration of the solutes. HA is titrated with the NaOH, so the entire 14 milliliters of NaOH will be consumed to neutralize an equivalent portion of the HA. This will form some NaA and water. There will be no NaOH left at equilibrium because it is the limiting reagent.
At equilibrium, we have 0.12 moles per liter of HA and 0.08 moles per liter of NaA left. Note that with 14 milliliters, we have not yet reached the equivalence point. When we know the concentration of H plus or OH minus ions, we can use the pH equation and do what we did in part A. Here, we will determine the pH with the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. We know the dissociation constant of the acid, but the equation needs the pKa. We get the pKa by taking the negative log of our Ka. We insert the dissociation constant with the equilibrium concentrations of the acid HA and its conjugate base A-. Rounding to two significant digits, we get a pH of 3.05. This makes sense because the pH before the addition of the base was 1.84. Part C. At the equivalence point, we will have added the same quantity of moles of base that there are moles of acid. Remember that all the NaOH added to the solution reacts with HA to produce water and NaA. We continue to add more and more NaOH until there are no more moles of HA to react with. This is the equivalence point. Here, all of the HA molecules were neutralized and become NaA, so there is only NaA and water left in the solution. To find the pH at this point, we need to make a third ice table with the concentration of NaA once all the HA has reacted. To calculate the concentration of NaA, we need to first determine exactly how many moles of NaOH were added to arrive to the equivalence point. Then we can calculate the diluted concentration of NaA. At the equivalence point, there is the same amount of moles of HA as A- in the solution, but this does not mean that the pH will be 7. We will use the classic titration equation. 36.75 milliliters of NaOH were added to titrate the HA up to the equivalence point. Now we can do the dilution calculations. For the rest of the calculations, we are only going to consider the A- part of the NaA. So, if there are 0.00735 moles of HA in the solution at the equivalence point, there will be 0.00735 moles of A- in solution. Let's calculate the concentration of A-. The volume at the equivalence point will be the sum of the initial volumes of 21 milliliters of HA plus the 36.75 milliliters added. The A- that is left in the solution will dissociate a little bit, just like our HA did in part A. Let's build an ice table and insert the diluted concentration of A-. To determine the concentration of OH-, which will be our variable x, we need to use the Kb. However, the question only gave us Ka. We can determine Kb from the following formula. Now that we know Kb, we can build our equation for the equilibrium constant and insert the value. Again, we assume that the subtraction of x from the concentration of A- is negligible. We need to verify if our approximation was correct and if it's less than 5% of the initial concentration of A-. Yes, our approximation was correct. So, the concentration of OH- is 1.456 times 10 to the negative 6 moles per liter. Now all we need to do is determine the pH. First we will use the pOH, then the pH. You could also calculate the concentration of H+, and then the pH. We round our answer to two significant digits. The pH at the equivalence point is 8.16.